Let's get ready to rumble! Hi, so the other on the street is don't touch my phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, boy! Hi, guys! Welcome back to the channel. It's Source Family. Hi, guys! What's poppin'? So the word on the street is don't touch my phone. Yeah. yeah. Why shouldn't your partner touch phone? What do you think phone? about a partner, your partner touching your phone? I think it's not a bad idea since you ain't hiding anything from her. If you're hiding anything, it's when she won't, she's not supposed to touch your phone. Don't. Uh, I told people to ask me anything on my Instagram. Then somebody asked me if we are free to touch each other's phone or we have passwords, we, if we have put passwords on our phone or something of that sort. Yeah, something of the sort. But then, uh, to us, we don't we don't have anything to hide We have a password because of Alia. He has a password because of Alia. Yeah. My screen just... Has no password. <laughs> yeah, you just do that. We, we're just doing this vlog because we want suggestions from new people also. Yeah. If you think it's a good idea for a partner to hide his or her phone. Let me read for you the responses that I got from some people. Oh, there's a difference between being free with your partner's phone and going through your phone. If you start going through my phone, I'll get angry. Kweni unanishuku, as in I'll be like, kweni unanishuku. Like, why are you going through my phone? Like, every time you take your... Don't do that, by the way. There's a yeah, very big difference. There's a big difference between uh, using and... Going through your going phone through to it. look for things. Because you will ignite issues that are not there, that are not supposed to be there. If, you, if you're you free with your partner, just take your phone, just take his or her phone, uh, go to Instagram, just do your thing, just flow. But don't be like... In the middle of the night, you're taking your partner's phone, unenda kwa WhatsApp, you're trying to open messages. Yeah, what are you looking for? That's, if your partner... that's a weird thing also. Just don't look for issues, because if you look for issues, you'll find them, probably. Yes. Perfect. You'll, you'll definitely find issues if you look for them. Yeah. I don't think you should hide anything from your partner if you want a longer relationship, or if you're, if you're serious with it. If you're serious about your relationship, you shouldn't hide anything from your partner people take screenshots of nudes and they have them and then <laughs> and then your partner with it i have so many people coming up to me with issues i don't like posting people's issues you know some people tell me to can you tell people to address this then i feel like i'm exposing your problem if your partner let's say you went through his phone at night you saw maybe somebody let's say uh, like he's dealing with our match yeah so Every, every, you guys are texting him every now and then. Yeah. Most of you are girls, others are men. Some even text me weirdly that I'm their crush and sort of. Yeah. yeah? The? <laughs> the what? I just said, yeah. The what? <laughs> the? Their crush and oh, sort of things. Yeah. yeah. So oh, if you find them. messages like that, don't like panic or you just. Don't solve, overreact. Yeah, don't overreact. Just solve your issues because if. I always say if your partner matters to you, you won't argue for more than 15 minutes. Yeah, I was saying, let's say you guys text him. Other, before our hoodies, ladies with businesses were texting him for animation logos and all that kind of stuff. So imagine me going through his phone, I find a lady, I open the text, I, ha I have blue ticked you. I open the text, then I'm like, I'm going to a text. Then I go and find its business. You know, when he wakes up, <laughs> You know when he wakes up, he'll be like, why did you open my text? Then every day he finds the same thing. You keep opening girls' texts. You know, he'll be like, Kuna una nishuku? Then he'll start feeling weird, obviously. Like, if you do that to me, I'll start feeling like... <laughs> I'll start feeling so weird. Like, seriously, I'll start feeling like you're insecure, like, uh, una nishuku, like you're thinking I'm a cheat. And then I'll start having issues. Yeah. I'm like, Mboru na ni bebaivo, Mboru na ni bebaivo. Do you think I'm that cheap? Do you think I'm that bad? Yeah, then you start having all sorts of issues in your relationship. Then you blame it on going, you blame it on him hiding. Then after you do that, text from girls and leave text from boys, or you open text from boys and leave from girls. As if you're thinking there is something I might find. If, if let's say for him, he opens text from men. 
<laughs> only and not ladies. You know, that shows me he thinks there's something I'm doing with other men. And I'll be mad by the way, I'll seriously be mad. That's I think that's one reason you're told you should not go through your partner's phone. But if but, you're if you're male, you can go through your wife's phone. If you <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Girls talk too much. Mm. But he goes through my phone. Like, not going through my phone. He's free to use my phone. Uh, sometimes if somebody texts when he's having, he has the phone. Ali is over here, baby, if you wonder why. This is Ali. They she, can hear her music. Oh, uh, you can hear her music. She's just behind her back. She doesn't want any stories with anyone. So this was the question. On Instagram. If you haven't yeah. followed us on Instagram, please do. Can you see that cute picture of us? <laughs> So this was the question. Should phones in relationship be private? So I responded, according to us, they shouldn't. They shouldn't even matter. Like, you shouldn't even imagine that your phones are in the relationship. Your phones are not even part of the relationship. Uh, so they shouldn't even matter. They should matter when you're sending money. And this is... <laughs> if there's nothing fishy going on, I don't see the reason of yeah. them being private. Yeah. So then I... I Asked people, what do you all think? Somebody in that post asked, Mr. What, what do you use on your skin? I use nothing. My skin is super bad. No, it's nice. It's perfect. Hers is more perfect. Hers is the smoothest skin I've ever seen. She doesn't even, she doesn't have any makeup currently. She only did her eyebrows. Nahi. I forgot, I forgot a lot of things. Even my lip balm. I feel so weird. Yeah. We use nothing. What yeah, you? you drink a lot of water. You drink a lot of water. So Private what is yours is mine. <laughs> is yours is mine, including phones. The only privacy you get to keep is using the toilet. Yes, when you're pooping. When you're peeing, I'll come. What the heck? <laughs> what is there to hide? I think with a promise to be together and talking out. Loud phone should be should not be private. Perfect. Yes, that's a perfect response. Ah uh, yes, they should. Don't ever go through a partner's phone. Yes, don't go through it. <laughs> just use it. Yeah, just use it. Don't go through it. No, they shouldn't. No, no. Somehow, no. Cause what are you hiding? If you trust each other, nothing should be private. Yes. There are so many people who responded. They Other people kept on saying that they they might end up arguing. For necessary reasons because of checking each other's phones just don't go through the phone just use it yeah. if it's using don't start don't questioning like, things yeah kuna watu, kama, kama kuna kitu anataka, atakuambia, atakuambia. oh the, the issue is trust issues i guess yeah because you know some people just start issues because they don't trust each other and there are these kind of people in relationship you, you are still allowed to have male friends if you're a girl and if you're a boy, you're still allowed to have female friends. But in other relationships, you cannot have that. So, let's say the girl had male friends before. They're just friends. If you dare talk to that guy that she was your friend before, it will bring issues if your man finds out. Yeah. And if your girl is really insecure and doesn't want you to talk to your old girlfriends, <laughs> I mean girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. Girl who are friends. Girlfriends. Yeah, they're yeah, just girlfriends. Yeah. Your old girlfriends. That will be a total different case. Like you cannot. I'm takosana bure because we all need a social life, so it's best to stay out of each other's business. Yeah, currently true, but don't hide anything. If you don't know. act. Don't even act suspicious, and yeah. don't be texting people fishy messages. Flat. Yeah, just don't flat. Yeah. Don't flat. Long ago, like forever, the girlfriends that I had were from high school, and yeah. very few. Um. I'm not a crowdy, a girl's crowdy. I used to hang around boys so much. Yeah. That's why I think that's why I ended up choosing the perfect way because I was educated more. Because uh, I had, I had this uh, pastor's son who would monitor, who would stop everybody from approaching me, dating me, or anything. He was my spiritual brother. He taught me everything about me, so I ended up landing with the perfect man, and you know. Five years now, just after high school, the next year after high school, after I turned 18. Enjoyed anyway. Do you have anything to say? Uh, questions below if you think it's weird. 
Questions below if you think it's weird your partner touching your phone. Do you have anything to say? Please, subscribing is free. It's free. If your country, if it's not free in your country, if it's if it's free, is it free in your country? Because it's free in Kenya. If it's free in Kenya, subscribe. Move, 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 move. <laughs> Alia is asleep. Uh, we are this location is a perfect hotel. For Maybe I wanted I wanted to talk about. Can you guys see the lighting? We need such see a this, bedroom. See this window. It's a huge, massive window. Then there are two sets, a TV, a huge shower, which has marbles. Are they marbles? Are they marbles? No, they're just stones. Uh, yeah, it's perfect. And there's this big. Awesome up here, you guys. Sunny. Can you see it's this? It's sunny. This is perfect. Like, look at this. It looks like a whole picture. No, it's sunny. This is perfect. Why don't you think it's sunny? It's not sunny. <laughs> It's not sunny. It is not sunny. You hate the littlest light. Leave alone sun. Light. He hates sun. <laughs> He's from Mombasa. He hates sun. <laughs> My son. <laughs> I love you. Hi, Eric. Eric. What is Eric? I'm going to go for a beer. I'm going to uh uh I'm going to go for me. You need a joke, Mama. Huh? You need a joke. Uh uh. Yeah. Eric Nini. Mm -mm. To Malaysia vlog. Babe, Kuja, 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 for Kuja, 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 Papa, Papa, Giza. Don't come vlog your pal. Why? Because you called me Eric. My Eric. No, I wanted to tell you a story about Eric. We were studying with a boy called Eric back in primary school. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, back to you. Oh, fuck you. Really? You say Derek. I think it's Baro. It is a prank. Just calling your other man's name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are waiting for me to stop vlogging so that you can question me like Eric man. Was my Eric Eric man? I got you. You see, you are you are now in a bad mood. No, I'm not. I'm never in a bad mood. I'm perfect. <laughs> You see, now you're back. Now you can laugh. I'm happy because I have a new phone. Good. Our camera you should did. check. You should check the reaction video which she got me the phone. She surprised me with the phone at night. Your cousin, her cousin brought me her. Her cousin brought his cousin. No, your, ah, her cousin ha. came with the phone at night, and she kept on telling me that it was a. Uh, Shoes. It was no, it wasn't shoes. Before yeah, before he came, she was saying it was shoes, it's shoes, it's shoes. But then when the package came, it was little. It was medicine, of which I felt re really confused. Then she was like, "It's too late." Then I was like, "What kind of medicine is that?" But she never wanted me to see the package. She hid it on the drawer. This drawer. She hid it here on this drawer. Until everybody left. Until everybody left. Then at night, she surprised me with a phone. It was perfect. It was perfect. <laughs> he kept. Uh, the camera was Jay Konata. He kept saying it's a it's a dumb yeah. 
Yeah, you kept saying it's a dummy because it, cause it was there. It's <laughs> <laughs> big. So you call them that? It's a dummy. You kept saying it's a dummy because you thought it wasn't working. Because he thought he thought it was a prank. Yeah, I thought it was a prank first actually. I thought it that was the worst part about doing pranks. He yeah. didn't like. Then he was really questioning me. You yeah. thought I had told Brando to just bring a phone, then it's going to be you know taken the, back. The, the weird thing is, I was wondering why, where she, where she got it, how she got it, how she sent another person to get me a phone. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, of which she called me another month's name, next time I'm, I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. Good. See, you, there's a time you are dreaming with another girl. Ah. When I was pregnant. Okay, got mad. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. I did, I did dream with another girl. No, I got girl. you. Oh, so it's done. Yeah, Tit for Tat is a fair game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Anyway. Subscribe, like, and also share. Bye.